All right, guys, back to the future. Yahweh Shah here speaking once again. And I just want to give thanks to my father, Yahweh, for life and for strength. Just want to say we love you, Father. So, we're going to start off today. This lesson is going to be about if God is love. Yeah, because, the, the, and this one goes out to the Christians because they really don't understand how God is love. Yes, God is love, so I'm going to answer that question right now. My father is love, Yahweh is love. Yeah, but how is he love? <clears throat> so, we're going to get into those verses where he says, um, God is love. So we're going to go First John 4 and 8, and he says, <clears throat> He that loveth not, not knoweth not Yahweh, for Yahweh is love. First John 4 and 16 and we have known and believe the love <coughs> that Yahweh has to us. Yahweh is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in Yahweh. And Yahweh in him. <coughs> Fine, fair enough. So we could see that dear Yahweh is love. But we're going to also go into now the book of Exodus 15. And verse 3, and it says right here, The Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. Yeah? So, how can he be so loved and how can he be a man of war? The Bible is not contradicting itself. The Bible is not contradicting itself. Because it says here, yeah? And I'm going to give you a next, a next verse which shows why before I go down to my point. Yeah, so Matthew 10, verse 32, and it says, <clears throat> Whosoever therefore shall confess me, Yahweh shall before men, and Yahweh will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. Heaven, my father, Yahweh, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me, Yahweh shall I before men, him will I also deny before my father, Yahweh, which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, brothers and sisters, unto all them other wicked people. Yeah? But a sword. For I am come. To set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and man and man's foes shall be they of the of his own house. Let me read thirty-six again. And a man's foes, yeah, his enemies, yeah, shall be they of his own house. So if you're fighting over moon doctrine and whatever, 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 diverse days for you. That's where it comes in right there. So how and I said God, Yahweh, yeah, he's not a man of contradiction. Yeah. So how can he be love and then how can he be so worrying thing? Yeah? I'll give you Proverbs. Yeah. So we're going to go into the book of Proverbs. Give me one second. We're going to go to Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. So a false balance. So if the whole world ain't balanced and it's a false balance, it's an abomination. And it, it, it will be with destruction as well too. So people who feel like they could kill people and get away with it, it's impossible. It's impossible for you to do that. Like my father is balanced. If you feel like father is love, love, and you, you think father not going to see that you, you're taking a rod up your bottom and you is a man, 
<laughs> you got to think of fucking getting you. You have to fucking, and you lesbians as well too, you got to get your head sliced to fuck off, you know. You all are your nasty fucking people, you yeah. Don't forget. <clears throat> so we're going to go Matthew 24. And we're going to start at 40. Yeah, and it reads, Then shall two be in the field. So I just talked about Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance, yeah? Let me show you how my father deals, yeah? Then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other one left. Why? Because one was good and one was fucking bad. One didn't want to follow the laws and the commandments and one followed the laws and the commandments. She was listening to she, she good husband and everything was right. So we're going to go into a next topic. We're going to go into the next part of what I want to go into as well too. Yeah, so it's Revelations, one of my favorite verses as well, Revelations 13 and 9. Well, and we're going to, well, yeah, let, yeah, Revelations 13 and 9, yeah? And it reads, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That our father say, and father don't lie. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So you think like, and the virgins as I tell you is the people them all this time that we don't be reincarnated, we be impatient, we never kill nobody. We never kill nobody, we here waiting until Father come in. And this is the revelation time. <clears throat> so Father said, Oh, he going to love you? Yeah, Father said many times. And Father, if you look in Jeremiah, Isaiah, throughout the whole Bible, Father has shown us love. But the people has been wicked. They don't want to see the love that Father show. Yeah? So, let's go. To You need to look up war. And see the meaning of war. Yeah? Because it's great destruction, great sorrow. Yeah? I'll give you the last verse, the, the last verse what I want to go into. Right now, and it's in Jeremiah chapter 23. And I'm going to start at verse 1. <coughs> to you Christian pastors, because you guys going out there all the time preaching lies. And you guys know you have to go in the lake of fire, so you want other people with you. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says Yahweh. Therefore, thus says the Lord Yahweh of Israel, the Lord God Yahweh of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil, the evil of your doings says my father Yahweh. so don't think that you're gonna go away you creflo dollar you tg snakes the tg jakes whatever you guys do in america think that you guys doing you're not gonna get away for all the lies and the seeds and fooling off all the nations i mean these things had to happen because father said it would have happened but he also said other things are gonna happen as well too so with prophecy, with how Father works, is Proverbs 11 and verse 1. My Father is balanced. So you can't be doing killing, murdering, robbing, killing people and don't think that you're going to have a price to pay. And when my Father, the real big, the biggest judge of, of, of all of us come, you motherfuckers are going to feel because I'm a big judge. My people are big judges as well too, but my Father is the biggest judge. And you guys have to pay for the wickedness that you do. It's no national sorry day like in Australia. Yeah. It's a national sorry day when my father come back and give us the powers. Anyway, Shalom.